Hello guys, this is Lelsos. Today I'm to show you a relatively new thread from Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. Um, this is the one that I showed in the up unboxing video. It's a twist premium thread. It's um, 0.45 millimeter with a cream color, and it's um, it's a linen thread. It's a waxed linen thread. And I've tested this for quite a while, and I would like to show you what it's like and my opinion about it. And if you guys don't know, this is the Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. I will put the link in the description box. And this is the where you buy this thread. It's a Twist Master Fill Premium Wax Linen Thread. And it is a premium, by the way. Yeah. And they're doing this buy five and get six free for quite a while. So it's uh, good that you can, you can order five threads and you can get one more uh, for free. Uh, they do have a lot of colors. And yeah, so I think these will go really well, go with your um, cowhide or even with um, goat skin also. Yeah, I think this is really, how should I say? Yeah, the color is quite, quite vivid and quite good. And they come in two sizes, uh, one with 0.45 millimeter. It's, it's similar to uh, Link Cable 632 and 0.55. Uh, similar to 532. Uh, this one I bought again it's uh, 0.45 millimeter and I think this is a really good size for for uh, the stitch spacing from 0.38 and under so for example 2.7 or 3 millimeter, 3 millimeter spacing also and I want to show you examples uh, how it looks like in the leather sample so yeah, so let's um, undo the package. They come with this plastic thing um, wrapping around the spool and I think it's quite nice touch. Um, if you just send it out, such a linen thread, um, it will really get stains or you will get some damages on the cord also, but they have this wrapper and quite reusable. I, I, I did this doing and undoing quite a while and uh, it just stays on really well nicely it's like posted so you can keep it uh, do not throw away throw this away unless you have a um, dedicated space for the same color or you have um, like some kind of rod system you can hang this onto somewhere and you can also puncture it through the, the stickers here it's, uh, it's there's a hole in it so yeah it's a waxed linen thread and it's not really heavily heavily overdosed waxed so it's basically pretty clean and it doesn't leave any residue after you stitch um, if you wax it by yourself uh, sometimes you apply too much and if you apply too much of wax when you do the stitching uh, if you do the stitching it will leave the wax residue in the leather or the, the stitch holes and it doesn't look clean and uh, it might get uh, dirt but because wax uh, attracts dirt and it will become like gunk of a dirt so it's not that beautiful clean look to it but this one doesn't uh, have that overdosed wax type of feel but it surely does um, I could see some of the really small particle waxes come off while do the stitching that's a completely natural uh, it has to be otherwise it means it's too less of wax has been applied and uh, yeah I think the amount of wax is very good and the, the thing that I was surprised with uh, with this thread was that the consistency was amazing uh, I am not that big fan of natural threads uh, like linen or any other uh, threads, uh, natural threads. I, I use the poly threads much, much more often. And these are the best um, linen thread, I think. Uh, most linen thread, uh, I think the best linen thread you could get before this was um, from uh, the lean cable, uh, the French linen thread. It has, um, I have already did a small review on it with the box. And the problem with that was the inconsistency of the linen. Uh, if you take a, uh, if you pull, uh, unspool your thread, your French linen thread, for example, um, I believe there's a certain length. Um, I think it's about 40 centimeters. Every 40 centimeters, there is a small, thick 
part of the linen thread and that is the the seam where two um, two linen wire gets connected so it, it will become a bit thick part in that and between that knot so every 40 centimeter will have the knot and between the knot the, the thread is not that consistent and I think they advertise it as the natural um, because of its nature, um, the linen has very inconsistent thickness, and uh, I, you know I, I understand the, the the manufacturing process. It has to be that way. I'm sure this linen thread also has that knot, but they really did amazing job hiding it throughout the whole thread. I could not really find which which part they connected because it was so consistent. Um, if you are making a thread from um, synthetic material as a poly or polyester polyester or nylon you can make a uh, make up fibers from that synthetic um, pots of melted uh, material you can consistently like produce it without any of the connections but uh, it's a natural thread so it has to be a, a knot between the certain lengths and this one doesn't have that knot almost almost consistent everything is just keep continuous thread so I was so amazed by how good job they produce this thread it's really really consistent this is a thread so it's, I think it's really hard to focus but yeah so it's like this yeah so throughout the whole thread it just shows you this much of consistency yeah so I was very well amazed and I think I, I think I will start to use the natural thread even more now because I knew that I could get this consistency and if you are curious um, these are you can use for the hand stitch also but you can use this even in the machine stitch because um, this is the Z twist thread so this is Z uh, oh sorry it's in, in, in English it's a Z uh, in, in German it's a Z and this is S, it's a S twist. I've explained this before in other videos, but I will just explain it once again since you, some of you guys you didn't see it. So there are two types of twists in um, thread manufacturing world. So this is um, this is Z thread, and 90 90% of the whole thread world are making the thread in a Z twist. And there are specialties areas or special threads are made with S twist, and sometimes it's called left twist or right twist. But this is the more uh, more common way to describe a thread. I've seen some of the S twist threads, uh, more of a vintage thread, or some of the shoemaking industry threads are some of the S threads, but they don't come in this thin. Uh, usually, um, the market is now moved on to from the hand sewing to machine sewing so most of the threads are consumed with machines so they produce Z twist Z twist way much better way much more you yeah? so it's really hard to find S twist because these are the for the only the hand stitch and you can do the hand stitch with this and you can do the uh, machine stitch with this also so that's why Z twist is uh, there are many more threads and the machine itself who makes this also have to produce them in a z-twist way so yeah it's um, the reason that why you can do the machine uh, hand stitching with the z-twist thread is that if you wax or if your thread is coated with the bond like the MBT thread you can you can you can do it because it will um, prevent the thread go to untwist uh, while you stitch normally if you stitch with the a Z twist uh, on your um, leather without it, anything, without wax or without bonding uh, the coating of the thread, it will untwist while you stitch. Yeah, so it's not that good, but uh, this thread is okay for hand stitching. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, that's that will do. I got this image from the superiorthreads.com. Um, I just googled it and I found this image and uh, this image was from this website yeah so yeah if you want to know more about it you can basically go here and then you can you can check it out yeah so the the twist of the if you take a look at your thread uh, this is your thread and if you see there's a line like this this way it's a Z twist and if you there's a line like this on your thread it's a S twist
yeah, so that's, that's about it, yeah. And this is the um, result of the, of the stitching. Top one is a Beagle pricking iron, 0 0.38, and the bottom one is Crimson Hide, 4.0. I've noticed that, yeah, it's a bit thin for Crimson Hide, but um, it looks okay, I guess. But from the 4.0, you might want to go a little bit thicker thread. So, for example, for this one, uh, it's a 0.45 millimeter. So you want to go one step larger, thicker one, which is 0.55. Then it looks much better. But the top one, it's um, I think it's perfect. So from 3.38 millimeter spacing pricking iron, pricking iron and below that, it's perfect for this size, you know. Look how a consistency it has throughout the stitching, yeah? It's almost like synthetic thread, doesn't it? I really love this. Normally you don't get this kind of, um, like a neat look to it with your um, natural thread because it has so much different thickness or throughout the whole, whole thread, so the stitching doesn't look this neat. Now, check this out. It's very nice. Um, I didn't hammer it down after the stitching, but uh, I will show you the difference between the hammer down linen thread and before. So, this is before. Okay. And I'll hammer it down now. This is um, French. It doesn't have any the manufactured stamp. Uh, it just says number two, and it's from France. And uh, it's quite good for um, pushing down the uh, seams and the kneading down the seams. And uh, I didn't treat any surface here, um, so I I think I'll have to do it in the future. I need to polish this, but anyways, I'm going to use this. not that much of a difference but you do have some of the um, cores closed down a little bit and uh, threads a bit I don't know aligned to the holes a little bit more mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's th there are many neighbors uh, downstairs so I could not do the hard stamping but uh, this is the more like a result after you hammer the stitching so you do get a more um, refined look to it to your to your holes and your thread yeah that's it um, this was all not vegetable lata and uh, yeah I highly highly recommend this thread and uh, I'll, I'll keep using it uh, until yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll start to use. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I cannot talk. I'll keep using it now. Yeah. So, yeah. This is a twist premium threads. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.